In this video you will learn, masking with distance color transition in film or IX, like road or a bridge etc. Go to sample color, click on sample color. Find the green color picture here. Drag and drop the green color picture into the track above the timeline. Double click on the green color. I have a video of the road, I adjust the scale, position and rotation of this picture and place it on one side of the road. Go to animation, click animation. And then customize and add a keyframe to the start of the picture. Now move the playhead a little further. And in this second keyframe, align the position and rotation of the picture with the side of the road. And in this way I adjust the scale, position and rotation of this picture across all the keyframes. Keep watching. I applied all the keyframes of the first picture. So we put a green picture on one side of the road. Now we have to put a green picture on the other side of the road as well. Drag and drop another green picture into the third track of the timeline. Match the duration of this picture to the footage of the tracks below. Like the first picture, this picture has to be applied through the keyframes on the other side of the road. 
I apply the keyframes to this picture. Stay tuned. So you can see that I have added keyframes to the second picture as well. Watch the video to see how I applied the keyframe animation to both pictures. Now we have to put a green picture on the sky area above the road. Drag another green color picture into the track above the timeline. Match the duration of this picture to the footage of the tracks below. Reduce the height of this picture and place it on the sky area above. This picture only has to be placed on the sky area above the road. I put it in the right place with keyframes so that the picture don't come down the road. So we have the area around the road removed, and only the road is left. Export this video once, click the export button above. Once the video settings are done, click the export button below again. When the video is exported, click the find target button, and easily access the video's location. Select everything on the film or timeline, and delete it. Click Project Media and keep it open. Select the exported video in a background video and drag and drop it into film or a media. Drag the background video to the track below the timeline. And drag and drop the exported video into the track above. Make the length of the background video below equal to the length of the video above. Click on the video above and click on the green screen tool. Select the picker tool and click on the green area in the video on the display screen. And remove the green area. You can also adjust the scale and position of the video. OK.
You can put multiple videos in the background. Import footage. Move the second track video to the above track. And add another background video to the second track. Match the duration of the video to the video of the track above. Split this video wherever you want. I'll split it in the middle. And delete a part of this video. I delete the first part of it. Also split the video below in the same place. And delete the second part of it. Move part of the second track to the bottom track. The last thing left is the transition, to keep an eye on which transition I'm going to use. Go to transition and click on it. And find the color distance transition here. Drag this transition between the two background videos of the track below. So with that, the effect is ready. Let's see. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please comment and let us know how you felt about today's masking transition in Filmora. We will be very grateful to you. And thanks a lot for the friends who share their opinions with us. So if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, keep creating better video with Solid Tutorials. Bye.